doing what I have to do, not just only to survive, but to thrive. Tonight, Amazing Red became the latest victim of Double J's Double MA Challenge. This, this ain't a sprint, this is a marathon. The $100,000 is safely still in escrow. Uh, and, and without a doubt, the Double J, Double MA Challenge is still going on. I'm still undefeated. And uh, uh, quite frankly, uh, if anybody thinks in their right mind that I'm going to take this sitting down, are you kidding me? I've never taken anything sitting down because it ain't a game. I take care of... Uh, I take, I take care of business, Bischoff, Hogan, Hardy, family, and here we sit, ready to usher in 2011 with, like I've said, and I've, I've preached it. I'm not even going to raise my voice this week, Jason. Thank I've you. preached it. People in places to succeed, Hogan, Bischoff, Hardy, Abyss, Jarrett, all of Immortals, all of Fortune. 2011 is ours for the taking, and I can assure you, and this ain't any wrestling jargon, 2011 will be a year that, quite frankly, makes or breaks the ultimate success of TNA. I think 2011 is that tipping point place for the business. And, and when you say the business, not just TNA, I think uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff there going is. on uh, in the world of television, in the world of you can call it sports entertainment, in the world of professional wrestling, in the world of live events, in the, the world, world of licensing, and the world everything, everything. everything. Uh, but I like where we where we're at, where we're poised, because when you get the nucleus of what makes this business go around, TNA business go around, we know our crap. We know what to do, and more importantly, we know when to do it. And I assure you. 2011 is going to be an enormous year. Who will step up next to take on Jarrett in the Double MA Challenge? Will anyone win the hundred thousand dollars? In this story, always with this guy. He knows right where I'm going. Come on, Jeff. You can name anybody, or somebody can name you. Kurt, you don't want no one of me. You just don't. You don't want any. You, you, you don't want me. Don't come jumping me from behind. You don't want me. I assure you that. Angelina Love and Velvet Sky have long been partners in TNA wrestling. Two weeks ago, they qualified for his shot at the vacant knockout tag titles. Earlier tonight, those plans were disrupted at the hands of Sarita. I was just coming in the trailer, and, and I open up the door just to walk in, and I see my best friend, and all of a sudden she just boots me right out the door and slams it. So my ass ran out the door and came in this way, and then I got, I chased her out. She's crazy. It's madness going on around here. This, you see this? Get a shot of this. Okay, Serena? This right here, the payback is going to be so much worse than this looks. You don't whip me like this and then prance off and talk shit to me and bully me and think that you're not gonna have any sort of payback, Sarita, okay? Because I was minding my own business. I'm pretty sure I was minding my own business today, getting ready for my tag team tournament match with my tag team partner, Angelina Love. And I figure I'm gonna get even with her. She wants to whip me, we're gonna go and we're, we're gonna have a strap match. And she got the best of me. She got the best of me. But you know what? It's not over. It's not even close to being over. Well, this is bull right here. With Velvet out of the picture, Angelina was left without a partner until the mysterious Winter stepped up to team with the leader of the beautiful people. Well, my strategy for this match was obviously different than when I woke up this morning. Because when I woke up this morning, it was me and yeah, it was me and Velvet versus Tara and Madison, you know. And then this happened, and that really throws you for a loop, especially when you're seeing somebody hurt your best friend like that. And uh, I mean, it was right before the match too, so I mean, just completely threw me off any kind of game plan I had. But you know, as a wrestler, you got to be ready for anything, and you got to think on your feet. So, I mean, when I went down there, I just knew I was in for a fight. But I'm confident, and they know that I'm a good wrestler. I've wrestled both of them a zillion times before. Um, and I just, I was going out there for the beautiful people. All of a sudden, like, there I was, and I'm lying on the ring apron because Tara, behind the ref's back, of course, had hit me right in the face with her gigantic elbow brace. Um, and I'm just rolling out of the way and I'm just I'm foggy and cross-eyed and can't see and I look up and there's winter and I usually only see her in like a mirror <laughs> or when I'm backstage so I don't know where she came from or how quickly she got there but she was just like tag 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 so I just 
She was there, and, and then all of a sudden, she's like pulling me back in the ring and handing me a, a beautiful red belt. And I just, I don't know. I don't know what to think about that yet. Well, I think I've done a pretty good job rescuing her in the past once or twice. I think she's a strong woman and she can stand on her own two feet. But sometimes when her friends turn her back on her and there's just too many people attacking her from all sides, she needs someone standing there with her and fighting with her. What will this mean for the beautiful people's future and the rekindled friendship of Angelina Love and Velvet Sky? I, I, Angelina's tag team partner, okay, one half of the beautiful people, okay? I was supposed to be in that match with Angelina, but Sarita, jealous Sarita, can't stand to see me on top, had to take me out in that fight in the locker room, and I, I, I was incapable of performing the match. She choked me out to where I had to go to the hospital, and they had to check to make sure that my throat wasn't crushed. I couldn't breathe, gasping for air. So after that, I was incapable of competing in the tournament. So Winter comes out of left field because she's so in love with Angelina. She just won't leave her alone. And she had to go in there and get the pin. And now Angelina and Winter, really? Angelina and Winter, new tag team champions? Really? I don't think so. I don't think so. Say what? Does not sit well with me. Like, stop stalking her. She's my partner, not yours. I'm not jealous. I'm not a jealous girl at all. But Angelina and me, we're like this. She's my partner. We are the beautiful people. Okay? Well, We've been around since day one of the knockouts division. Winter, you just come in on a left field out of God knows where. The first night in the ring and you have the belt with my tag team partner? Up next on TNA Reaction. Now, what's at stake? I'm going to be out of fortune, BS, whatever. I'm not happy about that. It is what it is, okay? Next Thursday, on an all-new TNA Impact, will AJ Styles be able to rebound from another heartbreaking defeat and win back the respect of Immortal? I'm smarter than he is. I have a game plan. I adapt. He's a wrestler. I am in everything. I can do it all. There's nothing I can't do. And like I said, I'm smarter than him, so I work around him, and then I pick him apart. That's what I do. AJ, like any great athlete performs best when he's under pressure. And right now, AJ Styles is a man who's under pressure. Eric Bischoff has basically laid out an ultimatum for all of us that they want the belts. They need the belts. And when Eric Bischoff speaks, you listen. You know, he is, he is our boss. He is the guy that has turned this company around for the better, I might add. So AJ Styles is focused and he is under pressure. And I guarantee you when the heat is on, if there's one guy you can count on, it's AJ Styles, and he's going to get the job done. Yes, he's feeling a little slighted. You know, Eric's has, uh, you know, been a little bit uh, a little bit hasty with him lately, but you know what? It's nothing that AJ hasn't been through before. Now, what's at stake? I'm going to be out of fortune, BS, whatever. I'm not happy about that. It is what it is, okay? The Motor City Machine Guns retain their championship gold, but now the targets on their backs are even bigger. What does beer money have in store for the guns? What's it going to take to beat us? Are you talking about how we're not the biggest or we're not the fastest? We don't have to be, man. We have the most heart. We don't get paid to go out there in suits like beer money does, all right? We get paid to wrestle. We get paid to defend these titles all across the world. We're the best wrestlers in this company because of it. Angelina Love and Winter have been crowned the new knockout champions. But will it be at the expense of the beautiful people? Well, as we've seen recently, Velvet has been turning her back on her. A great deal and she wasn't there again tonight so somebody had to step in and that was me she was very happy to see me she knows that I'm I'll always be there for her she knows that she has never has to worry about me going anywhere and she was very happy and very relieved to see me standing there with her I have not seen Velvet since we've become the tag chips Velvet has again been notable by her absence I think that Velvet obviously has her own thing going on. I think Velvet doesn't care about Angelina the way that Angelina always cared about Velvet. I think Angelina is a little hurt by that. I've been there for Angelina just as much as she's been there for me. I don't even know what, what a winter is. I don't know what her deal is, and you know what? I don't give a what her deal is or where she came from. She is not going to be holding those straps with my partner for long, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Well, being the new tag champ certainly has brought us together in a practical way. But me and Angelina 
have had a bond long, long before any of this even happened. So are you saying you've known Angelina since before you actually appeared on camera in TNA? I have known Angelina for a very, very long time. So you two have a past history together. You could say that. Will your history ever be revealed to the TNA audience so we can get some broader understanding of your history with her? Will we ever know? Perhaps, perhaps all will be revealed, my friend. I guess we'll have to wait and see. And on the season finale of TNA Reaction, Eric Bischoff hosts the best of TNA Wrestling 2010. 2010, without question, was a massive year for TNA. We'll take a look back at the year that was TNA, from the debut of Hulk Hogan on January 4th to the reveal that changed a company forever on 10-10-10. 2010, think about January 4th live right there in that building. Uh, an uh, enormous amount of change was ushered in. In 2010, without a doubt, I founded the company, and in 2010, there was more change, more upheaval going on throughout it, every month of the calendar year. But I think that's good for business. When you sit back and, and, and even rest on your laurels f f for a week, a day, it's bad business. It's bad. It's the moments. In my book, uh, the latest book, uh, countdown to lockdown. I said I thought I was all out of great moments in the ring, and I was wrong because I think I had one more great moment, and we shared it together on October 7th, 2010. The memories. It's pretty cool, you know, to live childhood dream, to do an angle with, uh, you know, a Hulk Hogan or a Ric Flair, you know, and even Eric Bischoff, you know, and it was really, really cool to do, but uh, it was a big year because I turned my back on all that as well, right at the end of 2010. And turning my back on it wasn't a popular choice, but it was the right one. And uh, it's something that propelled me immediately into the main event picture where I damn sure belong. We're coming to the end of 2010 now, and when I'm looking back, the British Invasion were the ones that hired me to protect them. But where I'm looking at right now, that I am now with Team Immortal. So, you know, where I am now compared to where I am then and the opportunities that are presented to me for 2011 are just endless. And the matches that had TNA fans sitting on the edge of their seats. We'll hear from all your favorite TNA superstars and find out what they have planned for 2011. Last year, the, the biggest news... Biggest news in all of TNA wrestling was that they signed Rob Van Dam. So for 2011, guess what, everybody? Rob Van Dam's going back to the top, back to Mr. TNA, back to the world champion, the whole effing show. Don't miss the season finale of TNA Reaction next Thursday night at 11 on Spike.